So um, <clears throat> we're going to start straight away by doing some translation. Okay? I say we, I mean you. <laughs> you are going to do some drink translation, some jigere. So the way we do it is this. You know, I want you to uh, work together in pairs. Ni ni mi ni or or mi sum mi ni takay or mare. It doesn't matter. To you, but you work together. Chiki chira roba je a. Not like this. There's go ah go on da. So, kaisa. Chiki chira roba je. So, um. That did it. So this uh, practice, sir, this translation practice, is not for you to understand the Tibetan. You are, the Tibetan is not problem. No, it's for you to produce some translation, and then it shouldn't take long. Maybe I don't know, ten, fifteen, twenty minutes or something. Right? You produce a translation. Just write down, not. Each pair one translation, right? Translation, chick translation, like this, and then I would like to hear you read out, you read out, you read out, and we compare, right? And we can see, and then maybe you know I can offer some help. Maybe this is right. This is this could be better, just so that just it is um, how you say combined effort. You know, translation. There are twenty three people here, so twenty three people chicky chickla. You help each other. It's not competition. Competition, marija. They help each other. Okay. So this translation is uh, very easy. Well, how is it? Kain sana, somba bo sana keva keva mare. Somba bo sana puku chire. Darum sala bo sukhangi pumo chire. Very simple thing about. Uh, Tibetan animals. This girl is, I don't know, Sundashiba. Sundashiba Lokasina. Sundashiba. No, Chue. So it's a 10 year old girl writing something very simple. Okay? So the meaning is not, the meaning in Tibetan is not of interest to me, and, and for you it's easy to un easy, no problem. You know, there's no problem. But what I want to see. Is a translation. Just because it's written by a ten-year-old girl, it doesn't mean to say, "Oh, it's easy to write in English." Because you have to produce a translation that is written by a ten-year-old girl, just like you have to produce a translation that's written by, you know, Jason Kapa or, or some great lama. See, you know. So this today is just easy a practice. So, um, I'll just go through very quickly and just give some suggestions, but I will not tell you how to translate. There is no correct translation or incorrect, you know. The title is called Burkisemche, so you must decide, is this Tibetan animals, animals in Tibet? Animals of Tibet, Tibetan creatures, which is the best title? Okay, so that you, you discuss. Right? Then it says, Chir, Zamli na, Senja na Zotongi Yoba. Chir. What do you say? General, generally, in general, general speaking, which is correct. Zamli na Senja na Zotong. Zamli na Zotong. So, Sometimes we say various, sometimes we say many different, you know? We don't always say various. No, there are many different, uh, um, how you say, types of food in a restaurant. If you go in a restaurant and you say, oh, there's many different types, many different foods here. We don't say various. Various is a strange word. Uh, various. You can say, oh, there are various ways of doing it. There are various methods. But here, you know, be careful. Tongyu uh, Yoba. Now, Tongya Yoroba. 
tongue to us and that's a tongue to you is not like this but in English you need to be very careful here first of all is the sentence active or is it passive if it's active then we need a subject who we we can see you can see or one can see or is it passive yeah is it can be seen or are seen do we use can or do we use just are seen in the world or another question do we need tongyu can we just say there are so there are many all these are correct all these suggestions are correct but which is the one that is the most suitable for this particular person young girl who are this is your decision this is what translator does this meaning is easy but what is the correct you know then kashi ki ngasola mare kashi ngasola pento chambore the pento is what is it helpful useful kashi ngasola noba kegyu noba sana kare harm hurt damage uh, injure there are many words in nupa you know if i if i am in a road accident and i some car i'm injured yeah i'm injured injured is no i harm yeah and i hurt i hurt him if i say something bad and you you, you get you, you start to cry i have hurt you i haven't i haven't damaged you i have hurt you have i harmed you hurt is more how you say sorrow feelings so all these words they all have same meanings but some are right. this can only be get from experience no but gelwa da gelkap gelkap is country nation or state which is correct a nation is a country that has representation at the UN okay that's a that's a nation england is not a nation tibet unfortunately is not a nation but it is a country england is not a country ah uh, mari england is not a nation scotland is not a nation wales is not a nation united kingdom is a nation and a country England is a country it is not a nation so there's difference if we're speaking generally we just say country otherwise we say nation state you know nation state this was shin how you say shin likewise similarly just as likewise does not come at the beginning of a sentence it comes at the middle of a sentence just as becomes at, at, at the beginning of the sentence just as we have feelings animals have feelings right just as i want happiness all sentient beings want happiness just as i want happiness similarly all sentient beings want happiness i want happiness likewise so just as similarly um likewise Sim, same meaning but different position in sentence the shin ah ya ba shin ah aso bo la yang sen xiao mong bo ye ba de ben na yak now yak dan ji dan ba ju dan lu lu yak everybody knows yak in the west nobody knows ji <laughs> nobody knows ji ji what is ji so what do you do there there are rules in translation if a word is foreign normally and nobody knows it you put in italics or if you don't put in italics you put a footnote g to call it g is no omatain om yakimor marbe oh okay yakimor marbe you don't know what yak you don't know what g is yakmor <laughs> ve So a female yak there. Look, da, rama, zodan zomo. 
Again, zo. Also, how you spell zo? How do you spell? Z-O, D-Z-O? How do you decide this? Who decides this? When you do academic translations, there is a start what we call style manual. There's a book that tells you how to write. If I write something, what's your name? Huh? Lundu. So if I write Lundu, L H U N D R U B, in English that is Lundrob. Lundrob. Lun, Lun, Lun. So the U must have t t on that. And droop is droop or droop or droop. So uh, there are rules. Every publisher has its own rules. So I mean, it doesn't matter now. But later on, if you do translations, you cannot just write like Rinpoche. You know, you cannot write R I N P O C H because that is Rinpoche. Rinpoche. Rinpoche, Rinpoche, che, you need a ch, ch, okay? So you need this. If it is foreign and nobody knows, you put in italics. Words like karma, Buddha, Dharma, Mahayana, Bodhicitta, these are in English dictionary. So not necessary to put in italics, not necessary. But other words, maybe like mudra, mahamudra, or something like this, not so common, you must put in italics. Then people know, oh, this is foreign. And then you put in a glossary at the end of the book. We'll, we'll do all this later, then we'll go. Zo, zo, la, sok, ba. Sok is what? Etc. And so on, and so forth. Are they all the same? Same meaning? Huh? What's the difference between etc. and so on? Etc. is a little bit more <coughs> formal. When we speak, we usually say, and some people say etc., etc., but it doesn't sound right. And so on, and so on, and so forth, we say, and so on, and so on, and so on. Don't do that. Penachamboye. Kabarebsu. Burkisem, ale. Burkisem, yak ni hachang pentachem, kisem, shi yi. Ke. Also, now, she is talking about, for example, yaks. Here she uses singular. So if you want to say singular, you have to say the yak. If you want to use plural, you can say yaks. Both are okay. It doesn't matter. The yak is very useful. Yaks are very useful. Chikpare is okay. Normally, I think the yak is a little bit better, like she has The yak, and when we say the yak, we don't mean one yak. We mean out of all the animals, the yak, like this. The and a uh, cause many problems. I've seen many problems. It's very not easy to understand. Sometimes the, sometimes a, uh, sometimes nothing, you know. So if you put the yak is singular, therefore the verb must be singular. If you put yaks, it's plural. So, kare, chala bodemba, chala bode. Now, chala bodemba. You need to think. Bodemba carries, moves. Chala what goods? What is chala? Here, chala. How do you translate chala? Things. That's good. Things is good. Things is like a spoken language, you know. If you're reading something about uh, you know, these big trucks or something, then we say goods. Board jumba? Means to. Ah. Yeah. Carry is okay. What do yaks do? They carry things, don't they? Transport is a little bit too... Transport's okay, but... You know, what I'm trying to say here is that it's not the meaning is important. Not the meaning. That's not important. What is the, the choosing the right word. Ra. You have to choose the right word. 
That's what. Chala ma bo ten ba xing. Uh dang xing ka mo wa. Mo wa is what? Huh? Pronunciation. Plow. Not pluff. <coughs> Plow. Plow what? Huh? The field, a field or fields? Huh? The field, only one field. Fields. It plows fields. We're talking general now. Field is a, uh, what we call a countable noun. That means you can say one field, two, three, one field, two fields, three fields. It has, it has, it is countable. Therefore, in this particular case, we're not talking about, if we have a farm, we say, oh, you plow that field, you know. Where is the yak? Oh, he's plowing the field. That's okay. He's plowing the field. But when we're talking about, just generally, they plow the fields, or you can just say fields. You don't have to say the. If something is plural, it sometimes n needs the and sometimes not need the. Uh, is what? Is it? Give? So yesterday we had Jimba. Jimba and Toba are the same? In Jimba, you don't say, uh, you don't say, Ji. You don't say that, huh? Oh, good. Provide is very good, yeah. Provide is more giving something that we need. The government provides education. Hospitals provide medical treatment. Well, children, um, mothers and fathers provide care, and a home. For their children, provide. Give is okay. It's okay. It's okay. But provide is slightly different, you know. And give. When you give money to a beggar, is that providing or giving? giving. That's giving. Although he needs it, but from your point of view, you don't have to do it, right? There's no responsibility. It's just giving. Providing means that there's some kind of responsibility. If you have a yak or a, or a tree. Uh, yaks don't give milk. If you have a tree, what are they there for? What is their their responsibility? They're not pets, are they? They're there to provide milk, All right? So, but if you say give, it's okay. I'm just giving you alternatives, isn't it? Deshin. Likewise. Same shen 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 kyang soso sane soso sane soso ngune marbe. How you say that? Huh? So so mune. So so sane. Huh? From their own side, yes. We have an expression in their own way. In their own way. In their own way, you know. We say, for example, people in Dharma are people who are angry at you. They are not very helpful, right? But in their own way, they help us produce patience, right? So in their own way, they are helpful. But generally speaking, generally speaking, they are not. But in their own way, so-so. No, no, so-so. Oh, yeah, so, so-so, so-so sane. Individually, individually, you can say. It may be like individually. Individually or in their own way. I'm translating this for you. This is so too easy for you. Now, Jamgyong. In, in the first class, many people have heard, what does Jamgyong mean? Does it mean care for, take care of, look after, love, like, show affection? This is a little girl talking. Little girl, what does she mean here? Korangi samlo kare like love care for <laughs> you see you have to decide it depends I think if you said love I, it's not wrong I don't think it's wrong see young girls she said oh we we must love animals why not 
It doesn't mean you have to take them to restaurants and <laughs> not that kind of love. It's love meaning you should have um you said jamse, you said jamse marabe. Jamse 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 cheba. Like, like in England, you know, we, we have our dogs, oh, you know, we give them, we put clothes on them, and the, this is love. We love our animals. So whether you can love uh, uh, yak, I don't know. Thank you. Pema Lausanne, Zinda Shiba. Zinda Shiba, Lo Chu, Marbe. Ah, Megen, Megen, Zinda Mekla Ganj, Dharam Shala, Mekla Ganj, Nima Lapta, Nin Lop, Nima Lapta, Re. So now this is old. Now she must be a very grown-up woman. Well, so, uh, as I said, you know, her, her ears are burning. <laughs> Do you know this expression? <laughs> if you talk about somebody, their ears. Uh, if your ears get hot, this means someone is talking about you. This is ta ta So anyway. It shouldn't take uh, long. Maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes. You just... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please. So, work together. Put one translation, each group, one translation. Then afterwards, I want you to read and I want to listen and we can discuss. Right. Tibetan animals? What's wrong with that? Animals of Tibet? In Tibet? Actually, uh, I will tell you that this is a title. If there was a film or a documentary, it would be called Animals of Tibet. Um, people of the world. Uh, food of India. Religions of the world. It sounds better. This sound. Tibetan animals, okay, but animals of Tibet is the best translation for that. So, cheers. These first, cheers. 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 Sentences. Have you put two? Two. Where is the first sentence end? Us. Huh? Us. Yeah. Generally, you know. Cheers. Only na senche no so tongu yapa. That is one sentence. The tongue doesn't mean and. In English, tongue. This is the beginning. This is what we call the paragraph, um, the, the initial paragraph sentence. It tells you, it tells you roughly what everything is going to be about. So it is an introductory sentence. It is a full stop there. Yeah. If you put and, then a little bit of a problem because then you've got another and here. Mm. That can be and. That's no problem. So, chir, you put in general or generally. It's not much difference, not much generally. I think in general is probably better, but it's okay. 
the na, nasok. I said nasok. It's better to put different types or many different types. Many kinds. Many kinds. Kinds is, is probably better. Is it mongo yara? Uh, there's, the word mongbo is not there, but it doesn't matter. Different types of animals in the world, different kinds of animals, many different animals. Various is all right, but the word various has particular use outside of this. You know, you know how can I, how can I go to uh, Delhi? Oh, there are various ways. You can go by train, you can go by plane. You can go by bus. There are various ways. So this way, this way, this way. So there's just three or four. But various animals in the world. Uh, no, there are many, many, many different types. Right? So different types. But these things are a little, you know. What I'm saying yet, what I said yesterday, it's uh, your understanding of Tibetan. No problem. It is which word do you choose? Which is the most? Not which is correct. Which is the most suitable? Then Kashing also la pento. How many people put useful? How many people put helpful? Helpful, helpful. helpful yeah, helpful. Or what about you know some not put useful? Yes. Huh? What's the difference, helpful and useful? <coughs> Are these glasses f helpful or useful? useful. useful. They're not helpful. <laughs> They're very helpful. <laughs> 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 Without them, Tom took them in the Helpful and useful, sometimes same meaning, right? Yeah, but not always, right? Not always, not always same meaning, right? If someone gives you some advice, you know, you can say, "Oh, that's very helpful. Thank you." You know, that's more helpful than use. Helpful means that you need something. Useful is practical, right? Useful, right? Practical. It's very useful. So I, I think personally. I think useful is better here. They're useful. You know, one of the uh, sufferings of animals, or to do kitungi, mila, what you say, mila bechetangare. We use them, don't we? We use them. We use them for milk, we use them for food. So use is useful. But this is a g little girl writing, so maybe. She says they are helpful. It's perfectly all right. She's a nine-year-old girl. Maybe she wants. So I'm not saying that useful or helpful. I think both are acceptable. Pentobada. Now here you don't need. Uh, you can either put and, or you can just put comma. You don't have to have and here. If you have and, you don't need comma unless you live in America. But we don't live in America, do we? But when I write, translate, because my publisher is American, if I have to say, if I said, for example, you know, uh, 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 the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I would write the Buddha, comma, the Dharma, sang, the, the Buddha, comma, the Dharma, comma, and the Sangha. But if I'm writing for English publisher, I say the Buddha, comma, the Dharma, and the sangha. I don't need comma. Americans say you have this called serial comma. It's why we don't need it, but uh, if you're writing in Amer Americans, they like comma. They're called serial comma, but we don't use it. But here you don't need. You can either put and, you know, some are, some are very useful to us, and or comma, some are what? Harmful, yes, harmful, yes. Full stop. You don't need to us twice. It's not necessary. If it's not necessary, don't put it there. She has got Matsula twice, right? But it's not necessary. We know. You know, some are useful to us, some are harmful. We know it means to us, not necessary. But if you want to put it, Okay, because this is a, maybe a, a young girl writing, so okay. Koi bad nai? No big. Kya kap sangma la senche mongbo yaba shin ane ngatso bhala yang senche mongbo yare. Now, 
how you can t start this with just as. You can, huh? Just, just, sorry? Just as. Yeah, what animals? Various. Various, various there? Mongburwa. Many. There are just as there are many animals in 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 every country, yeah, then comma. Then we also have We who? Yeah, that's okay. We will say if you want to say just as every just as every other country might be better. Every other country. Every is a singular, right? You don't say every country's. Many of you, I notice, make mistakes with singular and plural. Last class, too. It's, you must be careful with this. Every, just as every other country, because other, Tibet, just as every other country has many animals, likewise, but you don't need likewise, we in Tibet also, by the way, we in Tibet uh, have many animals. Or, you can use similarly, likewise. There are many animals in other countries. Likewise, in Tibet also, we have many animals. Similarly, in Tibet, we have many animals. We in Tibet, we in Tibet also. Generally speaking, we don't like to end a sentence with a preposition. So rather, we have many animals too. We have many animals also. Best to put the two and also in the middle of the sentence. We also have. Don't put it at the end. It's a rule, but it's not followed strictly. Ah, Pena, for example. Yuck. I said yuck, you know. No capital Y, please. It's not a king. It's not a person's name. Y A K, not capital Y. No. Just because it's a foreign word, it doesn't mean to say it has cap. Y A K, yak, not y yak. And uh, G, uh, bachuks. You put cows. Some people put cattle. It's okay. Cattle is both cow, ox, bull. But these day, cows also can mean male. Chicken is actually female, right? More. Marve. Ah. Chamorve. But in English, chicken can also mean po. You know. Po da mo nija. Chicken kogiore. In here, strictly speaking, is chicken and uh, a cockerel or rooster. But, you know. We say, right? Um, uh, did it? Oh hmm. uh, yeah. Sheep has no plural, not sheep's. Okay. Cattle has no plural. Cows have plural. Please be very careful about this. Easy mistake. One sheep, two sheep. One fish, two fish. Okay. No plural. 20 fish, 30 fish, 40 sheep, no plural. Why? I don't know. <laughs> There's no reason. Uh, horses, Rama. Rama's and a goat's rare. Mata kare, ma. Sheep goat. Sheep yorba, sheep de. She goat. She goat rare. Male goats, you don't. Masala penga marabe. And in Momo Zoya, the car is over it. Dalam Sala, Momo Shaz is Rashare. This male goat, Marve. Huh? Rama, Rabo. So Rama means female goat, huh? She goat. Not female, she goat. She goat, she goat, yeah. Also, we can say nanny goat, but she goat is okay, she goat. And Zodan Zomo, again, really, if you're writing this, if you're translating this, you have to put a footnote and say Zomo is a, what is a Zomo? In English, what is Zomo? 
<laughs> kind of bull, but what is it? Mare. Po yak mo bachuk manama. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Po yak mo. Offspring of this ya and the paju. That's right. It's the offspring of the um, of the male yak, female cow. So you have to put footnote like that. Something like that. And so on. And so forth. What do you say for that sentence? What do you put? The yak or yaks? What did you put? Huh? The yak, yes. The yak, not yaks. Yaks is okay if you want, but the yak. The yak means of all the animals, the yak. Okay? Many of you make mistake of the and a. Uh. This is a big problem. But you must know why. Why do I say the sun? Why do I say I can say I, I don't say I can see a sun, I can see the sun. Why? Why? <laughs> Talking about a what? No, sun, not yak. <laughs> Why do I say the sun? I don't say a sun, do I? Universal. Sun is universal. Not in England, it isn't. We never see it in England. Why? How many suns are there? Ah, oh, there's only one. So we say the sun. Everybody knows. If I say I, I can see the sun, you, you don't say, oh, which sun? <laughs> the sun, the moon, the world, the earth, the Dalai Lama. There's only one, right? So if there is one, normally, normally, we say the, okay? If I say I'm going to, um, come on. In England we say, I'm going to the supermarket. Why? There's many supermarkets. Because when I say the supermarket, everybody knows which supermarket. <coughs> they know. So the is definite. The means definite. It means that this, I know and you know which one I mean. I can say I'm going to a supermarket. It's okay. If I say I'm going to a supermarket, then the other person says, which one? If I say I'm going to the supermarket, they say they wouldn't say which one. So the is there is only one. Or the means that everybody knows which one. Right? The, okay? The. So when we say the yak, we know we, we have already been talking about animals in Tibet. And so we, we already know about there are, there's all these animals. There's there's dream goats and sheep, and the yak. Or you can say yaks if you want, doesn't matter. Then eh? Oh, kare. Oh, yeah. The yak what? Tell me what the yak? Hachang mare, hachang pento chambo. Did we say that? Yeah. Ker, again, she, she uses singular. The yak, what does it do? Carries what? Carries loads. Yeah, carries things, it's okay. Carries things. Like a coolie. Ah, the yak carries things. Or, actually, board jumper means to go from one place to another, huh? Yeah, so maybe we mean... The, some people can say transport, but it's okay, transport, but usually transport is like a, a big truck or a train or something. <laughs> Transit carries. So carries, yeah, carries. Carries is actually a carwa, right. Board jumba, I think, means to move, huh? Doesn't it? Move from one place to another, board jumba? So I think it's okay because when we say carry, 
we understand that it, it, it doesn't just carry, it, it carries and moves, right? We know this. In English, we know. What does a coolie do? He carries things. He, lift is that carry is to move. So carry means to lift and move, to load and move. So the word carry is enough. Carry means here, bodama. Uh, it's enough. And uh, what else does it do? Shinkamoa. What does it plow? The fields, a field, fields, huh? plows fields, or you can say the fields. Why? Because the fields of the farm. You can say the fields. Or you can just say fields. Not pluff, plow, please, plow. I know how it's plow. Uh, and so on. Depends on. What does the dri do? Dri? Huh? Provides... Provides milk or provides us milk or provides us with milk? Huh? Provides us milk. You can say provides us with milk, chikware. Provides us milk. Gives us milk is okay. This is a child talking, right? Gives us milk. Draba. Draba is to give her. Gives us milk. That's okay. Provides us milk is correct. More is better. But it's okay. Deshin. Mm. Deshin at the beginning of a sentence. Likewise. Oh, likewise, yeah. Or similarly. Not just as, no. Likewise. Other animals also in their own way. Someone put something else which is very nice. What was it? Soso sane. In their respective ways. Yeah, that's good. In their respective ways. That's nice too. In their own individual ways. Right? Then? End of sentence or new sentence? End of sentence or new sentence? New sentence? Okay. So how do you start this new sentence? No. Yeah. Your pair. Your pair. Pair. Pass up pair. Jaja means what? Therefore, yeah. Therefore. There are many ways of expressing jaja, many, many ways. Because, since, as, therefore. In Dharma text, this jaja is very common. Therefore, therefore, therefore. It indicates there is a reason. Why should we love animals? Because they are very useful, they are very helpful. Therefore, Jam Kyung. Jam Kyung means, what did you put? How many people put love? All the women put love. All the boys put take care of. <laughs> take care of, right? Take care of and look after. They are very similar. You can take, what can you take care of? You take care of what? If you're going to India, you say, we say, Take care of your health. Take care of your money. Look after your health. Look after your money. This is the same. Yeah. Look after your children. Look after your wife. Look after your husband. Look after your mother, your father. Take care of. This is all the same. Love is a little different, huh? You don't love your money, do you? Well, some, some people love money, yeah. You don't. Love is a little bit more from here. So this is a young girl talking. Maybe she says, we should, we should love animals. It's possible. Jam kyong sana, what is jam? Jam, jam sana, jam sana, kyong sana, look after the world. So, I mean, you understand in Tibetan what jam kyong means. But in English, what is it, what is she saying? Love animals and take care of animals are a little different. Take care of is just what farmers do. 
They take care of. Why? Because consular keeps on your way. So I take care of. Maybe they don't love. Maybe they don't love the yak, but they take care of the yak because the yak is useful. So they take care, but they don't love because obviously they kill, right, and eat it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, there's difference between love and take care of. So you must decide. I think, personally, love is better. I, I think we should love it. I think there's a little girl, she's saying we should love her. Marabe. I don't know. Everyone has their own interpretation. So, anyway, what I'm saying in this example here is not the correct meaning. Everyone here got the correct meaning. No problem at all. But everyone had something different. There are some mistakes. Okay, that's mistakes you can work on. <laughs> English language, you work on the mistakes. That's another thing. But what I'm interested in here is what is the best translation of this text, you know? Like I said yesterday, it's very important that we understand, we try and get in the mind of this girl through this. This is her message. Through this, we, we can get into um, uh, her, what, what she is thinking. Mm. So, that's it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Um, have we got a quarter past five, Ra? Um, no, 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 wait, wait, no time, no time, no time, no time. Um, uh, some grammar. You know, some nouns are countable and some nouns are uncountable. You must know this. You can only learn it. Right? Money is uncountable. You can count money, one rupee, two, yes. But you can't say money has no plural. Monies. Sometimes you can say money, but normally speaking, words like money, which are very big, have no plural. Right? If they have no plural, there is no uh. You cannot say uh money. You can say the money. You know? If you say the money, everybody knows which money. Where is the money? Where is my money? Where is the money? Time. Is time countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Is it? Is it? Yes. <laughs> when I was young, I had so many good times. I had good times. Bad times, good times. What is the time? Huh? Time is money. So time is both. Sometimes countable, sometimes uncountable. If it refers to a period, right? Then it is countable. When I was young is a period, right? Therefore that is countable, times. If I'm talking about, you know, that's uncountable. No plural. Right? What about love? Is love countable or uncountable? Love. Uh, noun, noun, not verb, noun. Love. All you need is love. <laughs> hmm? Really? Is it? Love. Sometimes it's uncountable, usually. Love is very important. Love and compassion. Right? Love and compassion. But you can say, you know, he has many loves in his life. He loves chocolate, he loves yogurt, he loves this woman, he loves that woman. He has many loves. You know. So you really have to know information, plur uh, countable or not. Yeah, it's uncountable. No plural. No plural, please. Informations, no. Advice. Uncountable. 
You need to learn this. If it's uncountable, there is no a. Uh. You cannot say a uh, money. You cannot say an advice. You can say if you want to use advice, you have to say a piece of advice or a piece of information. But you cannot say a uh, information or an advice. So please remember that. And a uh, and the. Try and work out, you know, the difference. I'm going to see the queen. Why is the queen... There are many queens in the world, right? Why do I say the queen? Huh? I can't hear you. Huh? It's my queen. <laughs> huh? My queen. Not your queen. If I'm in England, I could say, I, I, yesterday I saw the queen. Everybody knows. We only have one queen in England, right? Everybody knows. Right? So if everybody knows which one it is, you can say the. I'm going to the classroom. But there are many classrooms in, 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 the, in, in, this, in, in, in cuts. Why do I, where, I'm going to the classroom? Because the person I'm talking to, if you're all from this, you know you're at this classroom. So Bambala would say to me, I'm going to the classroom. I know he means this one. Okay? The yak. Yeah. Right? Um, and like this. Um, yeah. So that's uncountable, uncountable. What other? Plural. Please, plural. Make sure that the verb agrees with the, the subject. The word every is singular. Every country, not every countries. Every and each are singular. Each country, each person. All is plural. All countries are. Each country is. Yeah? None of them is. Not are. None of them is. Yeah? Like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's young Kare. There are many. What else did I see? Uh, uh, um, the most important thing is choosing the right word. Choosing the right word. Prepositions, useful to. Um, I'm sorry, sorry. How, uh, helpful, helpful. Helpful to, not for. Helpful to. Harmful to. Useful for. Why? I don't know. Because... To is usually from one place to another, right? Helpful to, harmful to, useful for. Because this is useful for writing, right? Useful for writing. You don't, it's useful for me, I can say, but normally useful means it has a use, right? So it's useful for. Prepositions are very difficult, very, very difficult. You have to learn them. There's no reasons, there's no... Just have to learn. Please, you need to improve English. Everyone, I need to improve my English. We all need to improve English. Read as much as possible, you know? Um, and if you see something, put it in your mind, you know? If a translation is beautiful, everyone will love it. If it is not, they will just throw it away. You know. Whatever. That that disorder.